And taking a live look over the White House right now, and we have some brand new poll numbers for you this morning. Former President Donald Trump is expanding his lead over President Biden, and this gap could actually grow as Trump pulls in more support. But first, we have new numbers coming from Bloomberg and also Morning Consult. Trump is up by five points in Arizona, seven points in North Carolina, three in Georgia, two Pennsylvania, one point you see it here in Wisconsin. Trump and Biden are tied, apparently, in Nevada, and Biden is only up one point in Michigan. At the same time, Trump is wrapping up a trip in Texas where he is asking for more campaign cash from Big Oil. Yesterday, Trump met with three executives in Houston. Now, last month, he met with more than 20 in Florida. All this comes after Trump brought in $25 million more in campaign cash than Biden did last month. And the wait is over. After months of silence and also speculation, former Trump rival Nikki Haley is back and endorsing a candidate. Listen to what she said at her first event after dropping out of the presidential race. I will be voting for Trump. Having said that, I stand by what I said in my suspension speech. Trump would be smart to reach out to the millions of people who voted for me and continue to support me and not assume that they're just going to be with him. And I genuinely hope he does that. And as for President Biden, his campaign is threatening a lawsuit against the state of Ohio over an issue that may keep him off the ballot in that state. Now, this problem stems from Biden not being officially nominated for the Democratic Party until after a deadline for certifying presidential nominees on the ballot. Yesterday, the Ohio General Assembly adjourned without addressing this issue, but it may not even matter. Trump won Ohio by eight points in 2020.